4 to 20 ma transmitter wiring types, 2 wire, 3 wire, 4 wire. Transmitters are available with a wide variety of signal outputs. The 4-20ma analog signal is by far the most commonly used in industrial applications. Several physical 4-20ma wiring options exist. This guidance note aims to outline these options. Industrial transmitters are available for monitoring many parameters these including pressure, temperature, and flow etc. Gas detectors slash transmitters offer 4-20ma outputs, where 4-ma equates to a zero reading and 20-ma equates a full-scale reading of the calibrated range. This signal is sent to a remotely located control panel. The control panel uses the signal and activates executive actions via relay contacts, e.g. audible and visual alarms or initiate some trips or even plant shutdown procedures. Transmitters typically require a 24 VDC supply. This supply can be derived local to the transmitter or supplied direct from the associated control panel. 4 to 20 ma transmitter wiring. Several transmitter wiring options exist. The design of the associated control panel dictates which option should be used. These wiring options include current source transmitter, non-isolated, 3 wire current sync transmitter, non-isolated, 3-wire, fully isolated, 4-wire, 2-wire loop-powered transmitters Most modern transmitters can be wired in a current sync or source format, selection is often made by the use of specific terminals or the location of a link within the transmitter. However some transmitters may be limited to either a sync or source configuration. Check the transmitter's technical manual for the available options. When transmitters are wired in a current source configuration it follows that the control system will be current sync, and vice versa. Therefore it is important to qualify whether it is the transmitter or the control system that is to be wired in a specific configuration. For the purposes for this guidance note it is assumed that both the transmitter and the remote control panel require a 24 VDC supply. Current source transmitter, non-isolated, 3-wire. This is the most common configuration of modern 4-20ma transmitters. The transmitter and control panel can use the same 24V and 0V DC supply lines. The 4-20ma signal flows through the 24V DC line and the signal line to the controller. Advantages, only three cable cores are required to the transmitter. A common power supply can be used for both the transmitter and the control panel. Disadvantages, any electrical interference or pickup may be transmitted along the signal line, which could generate a spurious alarm in the control panel. Current sync transmitter, non-isolated, 3-wire. The transmitter and control panel can use the same 0V and 24V DC supply lines. The 4-20MA signal flows through the 0V DC line and the signal line to the controller. Advantages. Only three cable cores are required to the transmitter. A common power supply can be used for both the transmitter and the control panel. Disadvantages, any electrical interference or pickup may be transmitted along the signal line, which may generate a spurious alarm in the control panel. Fully isolated, 4-wire. The transmitter and control panel use separate power supplies. The 4-20MA signal flows through two separate cable cores between the transmitter and control panel. It is assumed that the power to drive the 4-20MA loop is derived from the control panel. Advantages, electrical interference on the voltage supply lines will not be transferred to the 4-20MA signal line, reducing the risk of spurious signals being received at the controller. Disadvantages, an additional cable core is required for each transmitter compared to current sync and source options. A separate power supply is required for both the transmitter and control panel. Two wire loop powered transmitters. This configuration supplies power and 4 20 MA signal over a two wire loop connection between the transmitter and the control panel. Not all transmitters can be wired in this format and must be specifically designed to accommodate this configuration.
advantages, has low power consumption. Only two cable cores are required to the transmitter. Disadvantages, transmitter discrete fault signaling cannot be set at zero ma as this configuration continues to draw some current in a fault condition. This configuration is not suitable for control panels that require a zero ma signal for a fault indication. Sub 4 ma status signaling is limited due to the reduced range of ma available between fault and a zero reading. Not suitable for power hungry transmitters, e.g. catalytic gas detectors, or infrared gas detectors using optical heating elements.